This recipe is going to change the way you make your french fries. Today we are making the viral TikTok accordion potatoes. We're taking them to another level by adding some toppings to make the ultimate breakfast sandwich. If you're new here, welcome. I'm Tiffany and this is my Vegan Aloha Kitchen. I take popular items and recipes and veganize them, showing you how to make them simply at home. If you want more like this, make sure you check out the playlist at the end of the video. Click that like button and let's get started. We'll start this recipe by peeling the potatoes. Then cut off the tops and the sides to create a long rectangle and chop in half. Place down a pair of chopsticks or skewers on either side of the potato, then cut vertical slices halfway through on one side. The chopsticks will stop the blade from cutting all the way through. Then flip and cut diagonal slices halfway through on the other side. Repeat with the remaining five potatoes, then place in a bowl of water to rinse and set aside. Then in a small bowl, mix together two tablespoons of potato starch. You can sub cornstarch here, this is just what I had on hand. A half tablespoon of paprika, one teaspoon of garlic salt, one teaspoon of chopped parsley, and salt and pepper to taste. Mix to combine, then coat each piece. The great thing about this recipe is you can mix and match spices to taste, but this is my go-to fry mix. The potato starch is going to make these super crunchy and the spices give the best of flavor and color. Add to a baking pan and drizzle over a little oil. This is optional if you're using an air fryer or a non-stick pan. I'm air frying mine at 350 degrees for 15 minutes until golden brown, but these can also be done in an oven set to 400 degrees, then cooked for 15 minutes on each side. Originally, I saw these placed on skewers and eaten on their own, but I'm turning mine into a delicious breakfast sandwich by adding on some fried tofu, vegan cheese, and these homemade sausage patties. That link will be placed below in the comment and description box, but store-bought is fine as well. Then layer together with a little vegan mayo and enjoy. Hi there, let me know what you thought of the video in the comment box below. It really helps me to know what you like and what you want to see more of. If you want more easy vegan recipe ideas, this playlist is for you. And if you're up for a challenge, check out my DIY recipe hack series down below. Mahalo, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the kitchen.